Our second lab technique related to stoichiometry is gravimetric analysis. In gravimetric analysis, we're using masses of some component of either a mixture or a compound, and we're separating them out and weighing them. From those masses, we can use stoichiometry to find some unknown component. We can use gravimetric analysis to calculate percent mass of one component of a sample. We use a known amount of product to calculate the amount of the component we are interested in within the sample. Since these are lab techniques, we will typically be dealing with grams, which means we'll have to do gram to mole and mole to gram conversions in addition to using stoichiometry. We would go grams of product to moles of product using the molar mass of the product. Then moles of product to moles of the reactant we're interested in using stoichiometry. Then moles of the reactant to grams of the reactant using the molar mass of the reactant. Once we know the mass of the reactant, we can divide it by the mass of the sample that the reaction is a part of and multiply by 100 to get percent mass. One thing to keep in mind is that the reaction must go to completion for this analysis to be valid. Otherwise, the amount of product would not be indicative of amount of reactant. Here's an example of gravimetric analysis. We have a mixture that we're starting with that contains magnesium sulfate and some other stuff. It doesn't say what that other stuff is. It's dissolved in water and treated with an excess of barium nitrate. Barium nitrate is going to react with the magnesium sulfate and it results in the precipitation of 6.168 grams of barium sulfate. That's how much product we get out of this reaction. The question is, what is the concentration in mass percent of magnesium sulfate in the mixture. Here's our plan. First, we go from the mass of the product, barium sulfate, to moles using its molar mass. That would be a gram to mole conversion. Once we have moles, we can use stoichiometry to go from moles of our known product, barium sulfate, to the moles of the magnesium sulfate, which is not known. Then we can go from the moles of magnesium sulfate to grams of magnesium sulfate that must have been in our original mixture. Remember that 0.4550 grams is not the mass of magnesium sulfate. It's the mass of the whole mixture. We want to find the mass that's coming from just the component, which is magnesium sulfate. We can take our calculated mass of the component and divide by the mass of the whole thing times 100, and that gives us mass percent. First, we're taking our known amount, our 0.6168 grams of barium sulfate, and converting it from grams into moles by dividing by the molar mass of barium sulfate, which is 233.43. We come out with 0.002642 moles of barium sulfate, which is how many moles of product we got out of the reaction. We can go from moles of barium sulfate to moles of magnesium sulfate, since ultimately what we want is amount of magnesium sulfate in our mixture. We take our 0.002642 moles times one divided by one, because we've got coefficients of one in our balanced chemical equation. But if our equation were different, we could have different numbers here. Our number ends up staying the same, but the units are now moles of magnesium sulfate. We can take those moles of magnesium sulfate and change them into grams using the molar mass of magnesium sulfate. We're multiplying by that molar mass. Remember, the molar mass always goes next to grams. We find out that 0 0.3181 grams of magnesium sulfate were in our original mixture. We take the amount of magnesium sulfate that was in the original mixture and divide by the mass of the whole mixture which we were given in the problem. It would have been weighed out in the lab. Finally, we multiply by 100 to get a percentage and come out with 69.91% as our mass percent of magnesium sulfate in the mixture. What is the percent of chloride ion in a sample if 1.1324 grams of the sample produces 1.0881 grams of silver chloride, AgCl, when treated with ex excess silver ion, Ag plus one. 
you've got some chloride ion making up part of a sample, is reacting with silver ion to make silver chloride. Your job is to find the percent of the chloride ion in the sample based on the amount of silver chloride that got produced. Is the answer A, 23.77%, B, 17.32%, C, 39.17%, or D, 64.15%? Correct answer is A, 23.77%. You would take the grams of silver chloride that got produced, which is 1.0881, and you're kind of working backwards from the amount of product to the amount of the reactant. You would do grams of silver chloride to moles of silver chloride, moles of silver chloride to moles of chloride ion, and moles of chloride ion to grams of chloride ion. For molar mass of the chloride ion, you would just use the mass of chlorine. One electron doesn't make a noticeable difference. Once you have the mass of the chloride ion in the sample, you can compare that to the mass of the whole sample. The mass of chloride divided by the mass of the sample times 100% gives you a 23.77% yield.